In this week's Higher Ed Highlights, staff from the Department of Higher Education joined Chancellor Carey in Ironton to watch a joint response simulation drill that allowed students from Ohio University Southern and Collins Career Technical Center to use an equipment trailer purchased with funds from ODHE's RAPIDS program. About 60 students gathered at the OU Southern campus to take part in the exercise, which simulated a mass fentanyl exposure. The drill was modeled after a real-life mass fentanyl exposure earlier this year at the Ross County Jail in Chillicothe, where the potent synthetic opioid injured 29 inmates. Chancellor Carey told a local TV station covering the drill that the reality of the situation is what made it such a crucial training exercise for students to be a part of. And it's also important because, as you said, it happens all over the place. It happens not only in Southern Ohio, but throughout the tri-state and throughout the region. So having this resource, having students trained and being able to use this equipment is vital. Is a vital thing that we need our, for our safety. The joint response drill required students from various fields of study to work together to decontaminate, treat, and transport victims. Law enforcement students partnered with environmental health and safety students to clear the affected area, while nursing students applied first aid to the victims and electronic media students served as reporters covering the event from behind yellow caution tape. The victim's makeup was applied by cosmetology students. The mobile environmental health and safety training unit used during the drill was purchased with nearly $400,000 in funding from the RAPIDS program, which supports workforce development efforts in different regions of the state. Other schools that collaborated on this RAPIDS grant include Southern State Community College, Shawnee State University, and the University of Rio Grande and Rio Grande Community College. Look for Higher Ed Highlights on the Ohio Department of Higher Education's YouTube page and through our Facebook page and Twitter feed, and check out our website at ohiohighered.org. Thank you for watching, and come back next week for another round of Higher Ed Highlights.